For two and a half years, the Sarah Long Bridge has been assembled like a giant Lego set. Finally, with the tide's help, the last major piece has floated in, the 300-foot, 2,000-ton steel center span on a barge pushed inch by inch by tugboats, engineers checking precise position at high tide so the outgoing tide could lower it into place. Once it's in place, we can lift it up for the ships and we can bring it down for the rail. And in the, in the meantime, um, most of the time, um, the bridge deck will stay at the road level um, so the vehicles can pass. Only one other bridge in existence has a center span for vehicle, train and marine traffic. And because this one's opening will be higher than the old bridges, it should only have to open a third as often. This is the second most important bridge for the state of Maine because it's the backup to the high level um, Interstate 95 bridge. It's incredibly important to New Hampshire because of the port. This photo shows a 750 foot ship headed to the opening of the old bridge. This photo, the same ship going through the expanded opening. We'll be able to bring a little bit wider ship in. We'll be able to bring it in more safely because the assist tugs will be able to escort the ship through the bridge. A safer, more economically competitive opportunity for key imports like salt and home heating oil. The area around the bridge will remain closed to river traffic for another week or so, so engineers can test raising and lowering it. The bridge itself is expected to open to river traffic sometime in the next month. Those cars, a long time in waiting and being able to pass over it. We're live in Portsmouth, Jennifer Crompton, WMUR News 9.